Now let's go to another reason why, ener uh, why inflation is going to continue to get fueled. Energy prices. Think of all the things that energy goes into. Making of products, the production of products, the movement of products, the movement of all of us, our cars, our planes. Energy cycles into everything. We had the greatest benefit for 15 years that started at the end of kind of the late 00s, where we had this thing called fracking that was technology advancement that boomed our energy production. And let's look at that. So this is West Texas Inter Intermediate Crude and Brent Crude Oil. As you can see, you had this massive spike up uh, in 2007, 2008, as the Federal Reserve was pouring money, creating inflation in fuel costs, sending it up. Oil, a barrel of oil went up to uh, almost $140, uh, almost $150 with Brett, and then it came collapsing down and then continued to head down. Why? Look at the nat gas prices, the one into the upper right. Nat gas prices came cratering down because what was happening in the Permian Basin in Texas and New Mexico, and what was happening in the Bakken in North Dakota. And so we became energy independent. We were starting to export energy. Problem is now, because of all these ESG goals, how many of you know what ESG is? It's this thing that the government has been pushing and big institutional investors like BlackRock have been pushing. ESG is environmental, social, and governance, and requirements on companies to adhere to these different standards. It may be governance. You have to have a certain amount of females or minorities on your board of directors uh, and, or, and social. It, it could be an environmental. It's forcing all these companies big oil companies, all the rest, to underinvest in the production of fossil fuels and invest in green energy. And what it's done also is the capital markets, they're not flowing money to our energy complex. So it's being starved of capital. So we have less wells being produced. And then you had President Biden. What was the first thing he did when he came in? He canceled the Keystone Pipeline, canceling other pipelines. By the way, that's insanity because if you want to save on energy, oil, move it through a pipeline. It's safer and it's less costly than having it being shipped by truck and train all over the place where you get a lot of spillage. But that's what they've done. And now where you have utilities that can't even get enough nat gas they're starting to go back to using coal, which is the dirtiest of all kinds of fuel, and look at what's happened to coal prices. I'm telling you right now, one of the easiest bets in my book is that oil is going to go over $100 a barrel very easily. I don't know when that is, next three months, four months, six months. Depends how cold the winter is. But energy prices are going to continue to grind higher, and already these moves are going to continue to cycle in to CPI and PPI. These are gas prices. Look at the red line. This is what's happening with gas prices. Nationwide, it's $3.39. Now let's talk about utility rates. This is by PG&E, Southern California Edison, and San Diego Gas and Electric. The dotted line, up 20%, is CPI. This has been going on since 2013. Look at the rates of inflation of, of this area. It's unbelievable. And why is San Diego Gas and Electric so expensive? They shut down a nuclear power plant that was totally functioning. They decommissioned it. By the way, if you're worried about carbon, nuclear plants don't produce any carbon. Yeah, there's you know nuclear waste, but uh, you know, there are people that argue, Bill Gates and others, that will say we should absolutely be moving vastly more nuclear if we're c c concerned about global warming. 